you. <laughs> I've got your mic turned on now, though. Thanks, Aaron. No problem. What's going on, Fred? I am just got back from my printer, and I'm uh-huh. stoked about some stuff that I got. Okay. Which is... Well, Fred, we should introduce who you oh, are. yeah. <laughs> Certainly. Uh, this is... Uh, too much metal, Fred. Uh, can I say your real name? Yes, you can. Fred Gillick of Smack Designs. He does a very, uh, very cool uh, too much metal for one hand design, and as well as a bunch of other stuff. And we're here to talk uh, with Fred, particularly today, um, because he's going to be featuring some of his designs on T-shirts for the upcoming Friday night Fish Fry and a Flick Night of the Living Dead, and he's got a special zombie T-shirt. And am I correct in looking at it and yes. thinking it looks like misfits? It- it is similar to the Misfits t-shirt, but it's the Wisconsin state with a skull in it that glows oh, in wow. the dark when it gets dark out. That's so cool. Which is actually very cool. It's um, got the zipper mouth, too. It's got the zipper mouth. So, yeah, it's, it was kind of modeled after the Misfits thing. Mark Solheim came up to me with the idea to put it in glow in the dark, and he's like, dude, do you remember that Misfits t-shirt? And I said, yeah, I mean, the one that glows in the dark, and he's like, that's what you've got to do. So, Solheim, there you go. That's, that's, your, uh, that's your love right there. So, thanks so much, man. So we're going to be part of the Retail Bazaar, which starts earlier in the evening around dusk, just in time for you to eat fish fry and brains, um, which brain particularly is not flesh. It's a tissue. Yeah, but you were trying to convince me of this before. I know. If you're vegan or vegetarian, don't bother eating brains. They're not good for you. Mm-mm. Well, maybe they are if you're like, you know, like if your like IQ is like at 80, which mine is at like 85. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad I don't know what mine is. No, so it's a cool event. It's going to be in 3D. Do you know that? Yes, I did know that. 3D means you get those fancy glasses, right? The red and the, the blue. Yes, the uh, old school kind. Cellophane. Yeah, for real. And uh, th- you know you know where it is, right? It's down by the lake. Yep, it's Discovery in... World. It's right where the, the schooner yeah, docks. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh, you know the schooner, huh? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah that's how my forefathers came to this country. <laughs> um, but no, it's it's a really cool event. I've done it three times already, and every time it grows with like people and their enthusiasm for it. Mm-hmm. And the people at the Paps put it on, and they do a great job. I really like those guys. And it, all the movies so far this year have been very appropriate. Some, you know, not for kids, obviously, but, you know, if you're kind of young and, um, you know, have a family or a little bit, you know, you want to probably keep them at home for a movie like this. But Night the event, dead, yeah, yeah this, kids right. should never see something like that. Um, but it's really cool. And, you know, when the sun goes down and the moon is shining, it's, you know, strange things happen. It's pretty. It's pretty cool because when you're sitting there waiting for the movie to begin, you're just sitting on the lake. It's like you're, you know, having a picnic. Exactly. Out the boats. Yeah, and, and you're in like the like amphitheater area of it. Mm-hmm. You know, the, because the stairs kind of go up, and then like really, it's probably the coolest way when you turn around to see the city skyline. Yep. I think. Yeah. Because normally, you know, there's really nothing going down there except for this event, and it's like. Wow, I didn't know, you know, we have an art museum, we have the Discovery World, and we've got a skyline. And then it's like 75 degrees, and it's the middle of September. And it's picturesque, it's wonderful. It's beautiful, you're right. Yeah. So, so Fred, you're going to be featuring your zombie tees. Yes, I am. All right, and uh, let's see, um, how long did it take you to come up with this particular design? This one has been around for a while that I never did anything with, and Mm -hmm. I'll tell you the... The origin of the idea was um, years ago during the Harley 105th, I had an opportunity to sell with a couple of friends of mine and noticed that a lot of people in Wisconsin looked like the Walking Dead, like Harley riders. And I said, wow, these are <laughs> so pale because they're so pale and they're worn out because they've been riding for like 80 years, you know, oh, I mean, man. which is cool. You know, if you can ride a bike for 100 years, that's pretty cool. Yeah, as long but as they're not wandering around saying brains. They weren't. They, <laughs> they weren't. But sometimes it felt like it. So I came up with that idea and I was like, wow, look at these with zombies just walking around. And then it was an idea that I just never did anything about until the beginning of this year when I drew it up. And I said, wow, here's a perfect opportunity to unveil a new design at Summerfest. So I did. Summerfest and, and this. Yes, exactly. Very cool. Right, I've got to stand there but also. And um, but that's where the idea came. So it germinated about, I don't know, 2005, about four years ago. Mm-hmm. And it, the pen and the ink went to paper uh, like the beginning of this year. Okay. And did a little video with it with a girl dancing. And she unveils that she has a mustache and she's kind of a walking dead thing. It's all online. You can see it. It's a little one minute story. This is a little bit odd. It is a little odd. But, you know, when you're talking about zombies, anything goes, right? I guess. I guess. Yeah, it's a cool mm-hmm. thing. All right. <laughs> it is. I believe you. It, Where is this web address where you can find these videos and things like uh, that? TooMuchMetal.com. TooMuchMetal.com. Yes. Okay. Uh, did you know that a few years ago, the cable television network G4 did a live version of Night of the Living Dead with 
Mark Borchardt and um, Mike Schenk. I think I might have heard of that. That was a very cool event. And I think the huh. fish fry thing with the 3D is going to have that same sort of vibe. Do you think people are going to be jumping out of their skin? I, I think so. It's scary. It's, you know, I mean, if, you, if you're in like afraid of zombies, you, go see this. You might get over it. And I thought now it's like all about the vampires right now. You know, the whole yeah, blood and blah, 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 blah. Did you see that, by the way? I've seen parts. Parts. The season finale, I won't give it away. I happened to see the other day, and it's very, very cool. Um, okay, but it's but definitely not zombies. It's not it's vampires. And mm-hmm. did you know that vampires don't swim? Uh, that's useful information. I'm gonna stow it, stow it away yes. in my pocket for. A you know, I mean, through all of the all of the stuff so that I'm seeing. So if I, I want to escape vampires, I'm gonna. Yeah, go into water. They don't follow you. You know, and don't what, even give them a bathing cap. What about zombies, though? Because we're all gonna be by the by by the water. You know. Like, what if there was like a clash of, um, like a. Zombies versus um, yeah. vampires. We're on to something. Hmm. We're on to new, something. New t-shirt. New t-shirt. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The, the Wisconsin vampires versus the Wisconsin zombies. Of course. I, dude, you just came up with a really great idea, Aaron. All right. I expect a paycheck. You will get a paycheck, Aaron. Aaron. I'm joking. I'm joking. Aaron is the coolest person I know and has been doing the show, and I just wanted to give her a little bit of shout out love. Aww. It's the coolest show I listen to on Tuesdays from noon to three. And I do this all the time, and she can vouch for this, but I will randomly text her and say that was the coolest song that she hit me to. And I've done this for the last four years. And it's true, very true. She turned me on to School of Seven Bells. She turned me on to, um, uh, what is it, Camera Obscura, all kinds of great things. So well, cool. yay for Aaron Wolf. Cool, dude. Yeah. I mean, the other DJs play this stuff too, though. I know, but <laughs> I tune into you and you hit me to it, so you get the love. Ah, shucks. And, Thanks, you know, all the other great, you know, Full Eyes is really good on Monday. Yes, Dory's is. awesome on Thursday. Yep. So we, uh, you know, we love what you do here. Awesome. Thanks. And we love what you do with the t shirts. The Milwaukee is my favorite. You like that? Yeah, there's a t shirt Fred design with uh, the Milwaukee City skyline that says Milwaukee. Yeah. I'm a big fan. I like that one too. I kind of redeveloped that and put world coordinates on the back now. Nice. So just in case you got lost on this planet, you can find your way back home to Mill Rocky. Well, or at least somebody else can help you too. I think so if you ask nicely. Exactly. <laughs> it's a Midwestern <laughs> thing. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. Thanks, Fred. Uh, check out his uh, wonderful zombie, Wisconsin shaped zombie face, misfits esque t shirt that glows in the dark down at Discovery World this Woo. Friday. Yes. Do it. Do it. Thanks.